financial transactions are a matter of trust. You know, in order for you to sell something to him, you have to be able to trust that he'll pay you. He has to be able to trust that you will give him whatever it is that's trying to be, that's trying to be sold. That's the basis of all financial transactions. Um, the Bitcoin blockchain technology is now very, very popular. It's in the media. All the major money center banks, if I'm not mistaken, have Bitcoin initiatives trying to create what are called federated or private blockchains. Basically, you have the Bitcoin blockchain, which is public. Think of it as the internet. And then you have Bank of America, Citibank, Goldman Sachs, etc., trying to create private blockchains. Think of them as intranets. Okay? There's a very, very big difference, though. The value of an intranet will always pale to the value of the internet because you have more users, you have something called the network effect. With the network effect, every additional user adds value to all the other users, which then adds value to the additional user. And it's a circular, uh, it's a cycle. If you take it itself, and that's the ability to do a zero trust transaction. Now, the, what is being sold to the banking industry is that we already have um, our trusted parties. So we have trusted parties that we do business with. Hence, we don't need the, um, the zero trust uh, consensus in a, as a network system of the blockchain. That doesn't work. There is no such thing as a trusted party. Absolutely not. JP Morgan spent $250 million um, calendar year, fiscal year 2014, about $500 million for this fiscal year. They've been hacked, 78 million user accounts, about 7 million um, business accounts. Uh, you have Bear Stearns, you have Lehman Brothers, you have Balance Sheet Risk, you have Liquidity Risk, you have Greece, you have Portugal, Greece just defaulted last month, a couple of months ago. There is no such thing as a trusted party. You have parties that you desire to trust, parties that you want to trust, but there's no such thing as an actual trusted party. The Bitcoin public blockchain allows two parties to do business with each other, regardless of their balance sheet liquidity situation, regulatory restraints, the government confiscates assets, etc. Because everything is within the Bitcoin network is federated, I'm sorry, um, vetted by the consensus, and products that are co correctly created are already funded. So you cannot default. There's no counterparty credit risk. That is the primary value, in my opinion, of Bitcoin in general. You could create a contract, you can script it, you can program it, you can tell it whatever you want, Whoever has my computer, that particular product takes the place of all of Merrill Lynch, which is, one, I think, part of the largest acquisition of Bank of America, which is a country that's sponsoring it. It does it simply by programming the Bitcoin and allowing two parties to do business with each other without the counterparty risk that got Merrill Lynch in trouble in the first place. So I'm going to stop right there. Yeah, I guess I will, uh, I will add my 